Welcome to Yes Chemistry YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to uh, explain you about the scholarships or fellowships that is uh, available for Indian students in India for their postdoctoral research. So, in this video, I am going to explain you two important postdoctoral fellowships that is are available in India. So, in another video, you postdoctoral padikyan agadekina, PhD session postdoctoral padikyan agadekina agadekina, in the scholarship board goodi, in the fellowship board goodi, padikyan la avasarangal, vishada makoda, or the serious son, and in another video, in the end of the Pradana fellowship, or other thing, I can be perjapan. Science and Engineering Research Board in the Parayana SERD SERB Ude SERB Ude National Postdoctoral Research Fellowship NPDF in the Parayana NPDF in the Parayana our fellowship are the government of Egypt on the Science and Engineering Postdoctoral Chain of Work to Abigami Maitula Unadi. Ningle Ningle selected in authenticated Aitula, recognized Aitula, selected Aitla Mendes in the Kirile, Postdoc Cheyan Sadikuna, Uru Fellowship on it is only for Indians. It is important to apply it to India. It is age limit is 35 years. 35 years is the age limit. And age relaxation will be available for SEST and women or physically challenged people. It is the age limit. This is the same thing. You can register online. You can apply it 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 online. You can the document details in that format and we have to submit. That is the bio data of ourselves, candidate in the bio data. Age proof certificate, that is the qualification, that is the category certificate. We have to get age relaxation category. We have to get a certificate. We have to get an undertaking certificate, endorsement certificate from the mentor and our host institute. Endorsement certificate, short CV of the mentor and CV of the mentor. And the format is already given there. That's why we fill the mentor details. In this case, we can apply to the MRK. Whoever completed their PhD, MD or MS, they can apply for this. And it's also applicable for the students who already completed the PhD and submitted their thesis. That means waiting for the result. They can also apply for this. Only one condition is that once they got the pass certificate, then only they can, uh, they will uh, get the complete grant or fellowship what they are offered. In the Namuka, Levikin, the fellowship, and the grant, the Triana Noka, the budget in the fellowship, 55,000 per month, another consolidated Namka, the other than 35,000 per month, they are endowed for the students who are waiting for their result. They are not uh, awarded the degree yet. In either the bag might they will get a research grant of 2 lakh per annum and also overheads around 1 lakh per annum. These all are the fellowships or grants that will be awarded for the fellow who are applying for the postdoctoral research. Youth who are interested in research and the scientists uh, to become a scientist or independent title of a scientist I am a stage and actually postdoctoral well, that people who are interested for that uh, they can easily select uh, for this uh, the link uh, uh, how to apply and all the link I am going to give you in the description also you can select and you can go for this so first one is I have completed science and engineering research board in the national postdoctoral research uh, postdoctoral fellowship in PDF in the mail area. So I am going for the next one, the second one. Second one of the doctor DS 
Kothari, Dr. D.S. Kothari Post Doctoral Fellowship Scheme. D.S. Kothari for Post Doctoral Fellowship Scheme. It actually comes under University, University Grant uh, Commission, UGC under the uh, It's applicable for the uh, students who are interested in science, medical and engineering science. The most important part in this uh, DS Kothari postdoctoral fellowship is that you can apply throughout the year. The first case in the we have to wait for the uh, announcement or notification from their website that when we have to apply and what is the date for last date for and all. But in DS Kothari's uh, things, what you can do that you can apply throughout the year. Uh, around 500 people uh, per year getting this uh, fellowship from this DS Kothari uh, postdoctoral fellowship scheme. In this case, we have requirements for the RK and eligible. The same, case, same like the above or uh, the previous one, 35 years are the age limit in the parameter before uh, the maximum age is 35 and also same uh, age relaxation is applicable for uh, SCST, OBC, physically challenged and women candidates. Our club age relaxation available on uh, but you have to while we are submitting the application, even we can submit this through online. Some while submitting, we have to do a summary of our uh, PhD work and summary of the proposal research, and uh, we have to submit the details of the host institute and the mentor's CV. Mentors, mentored a CV only, we have to submit while applying for the uh, fellowship. Uh, then, what is the grant available for this? Let's check. Uh, check. Uh, normal fellowship. Uh, actually, they are giving you two categories, normal and higher fellowship. In normal fellowship, what they give, uh, for the first year, they will give 47,000 per month. Uh, then the second year, we will give 49,000. Then the third year, it will be 54,000 per month. And in the case of a higher fellowship throughout the three years, uh, we will get, or uh, the successful candidate will get 54,000 per month. And contingency grant is uh, 1 lakh per annum uh, for the success, uh, successful candidate. How to apply? We can apply through online. We have to submit all the data, what they requested like a CV and uh, our previous, our uh, PhD's detail. And then the proposal project details, mentor detail, then the host institute detail. In this case, here, what is the major condition is like, we cannot do this postdoc research in IIT, DIDO or DAE institutes. We can do in other recognized uh, institutes or laboratories. So, three uh, hours, I am giving the details like uh, website address and everything in the description. In so many other uh, scholarships or fellowships are also available for postdoctoral and PhD students that I am going to give you in the coming videos. So just uh, subscribe my channel and like and share with your colleagues who are will be who will be more useful or will be useful for them. So thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.